Hello guys. And he's outside, look. What are you doing, Els? Hey, you all right? Your drink, you've tipped your drink over, Pops. You've tipped your drink over. I have to get you another drink now. <laughs> Can you hear that? I've come up onto the Mendips again. <laughs> I'm doing a stealth tonight. I've also done a um I've done a camping no not camping I've done a cooking video for you guys <laughs> so there is a video to come hopefully well well we'll see once I've edited it but um I think it'd be alright <laughs> we'll go with it I'm not convinced it was um it didn't taste that nice it was a bit bland um, it was a vegetable, what was it I made? I used a pasta sauce, um, we had left over, um, some vegetables and some pasta. And I just chucked it all in together. Um, yeah, it was alright I suppose. Um, it wasn't as tasty as I'd anticipated. I was <laughs> hoping it was going to have a little bit more taste. Well, it was my fault because um, I forgot to put the herbs in it, and I also forgot it to put in the onion. <laughs> well, that's that's just a creative thing. I thought I'll, I'll leave it out. Yeah, right. I forgot. Oh well, never mind. Um, I've got a little bit of a dicky tummy. Um, I think it may have been the pasta because I think it's been in here for about three or four years so I think it may have gone off I shouldn't have eaten it, never mind oh well we'll see, I'm glad I've got a toilet anyway that's all about all I can say really <laughs> oh never mind I, I come up here for a nice quiet stealth and um, it sounds like someone's having a party over there <laughs> Um, there's a farm not far from here, and um, I'm pr either that or there's somebody. There's a bunch of cars parked up. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? If I point you over in that sort of direction over there, I'll boost the audio. That you might not be able to hear because it's getting windy as well. Can we hear the music? That's um... It's either some... It's really strong bass. So I, I'm wondering if it's a few guys with cars with their subs and that going. <laughs> but it's really loud. Or it might be just the fact that it's so quiet up here because the sound travels, doesn't it? But that's all I can hear. <laughs> this is a bit of a bummer because I was hoping to just come up and ah, chill out and listen to the birds, and I, I, I can that's all I can hear. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I um, yeah, I'm just doing a vlog for you guys. Um, I haven't done a I haven't done a camping video. It was just the one night. Um, I found I found a tin of strongbow. Um in my cupboard yay lucky me so i'm having a slurpee tonight mm. yes nights are growing darker now earlier now um what's the time now half past six um the sun goes down over there Sun goes down there. And um I buy another hour and it'll be dark. So winter is will be upon us soon. <sighs> I got um I got those little cones burning, you know those little nag champers. Just got one of those going in the back. Can you see it up on the top there? Um 
they were really cheap I think I got um, I think it was about a hundred <laughs> I think I got about no it wasn't that many 50 I think it was about 50 for three pounds but I know why now because um, normally the cones I've had before they usually last about 20 minutes whereas these only last about 10 they burn down really really quickly so uh, I reckon that's why they were a bit cheaper I don't mind, does it? let's just make it Ah, get the old um, aromatherapy going, you know. <laughs> Make it feel a bit more chilled out in here. I can't have it on my uh, my wife. You see, she doesn't like the smelly sticks, so um, I have to keep them them off. <laughs> so I can't. I can only have them when I'm here. I'm on my own. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, had a busy weekend this weekend. Well, Saturday night now. Um, I'd like say I came away to uh, to film a cooking video to go over on Scudo, so um, look out for that one. And um, just have a chat with you guys, really. It was quite good to come away do a vid. Um, yes, my um, my daughter and grandson weren't very well yesterday. Um, we were supposed to have been going away this weekend. But, um, we had to cancel it um, my poor little grandson had another bad asthma attack he's only three bless him um, so he got taken to they took him to the doctors and then he got taken by ambulance into hospital um, where he stayed overnight last night so um, he's come back home this morning luckily he's okay um, I had to take my daughter to another hospital because she wasn't very well <laughs> which wasn't the same hospital which wasn't very good so um i had to take my daughter to one hospital while my grandson was taken to another one which my wife had to go with them uh, don't ask <laughs> so um yes needs to say it was a late night last night um i don't think i I think I actually got home about 2 a.m. last night. Um, left about 5 o'clock yesterday evening. And uh, uh, luckily, my son was seen quite quickly. But um, up the other hospital, oh, it's hopeless. I took um, I took my daughter in, and um, she sat there for about two hours a nurse saw her. not this isn't a casualty this is another department but um the nurse saw her after two hours checked her over and everything at the end she said yeah well i think you're okay but i think you need to see your doctor i think you need to see a doctor um anyway four and a half hours later she still hadn't seen anybody um who was getting there well it was it was gone midnight and I think she just thought this is stupid <laughs> they, they're so underfunded and so understaffed it was just stupid so she just discharged herself in the end and had to come back home which was just well of course you wouldn't get that in the private sector you see because you're paying for it which we are paying for already aren't we you know the NHS is paid for um, but the uh, the powers to be have managed to skim all the money off to the private sector, which means there's no money for you and I. Um, the local hospital where we live, um, they knocked the old one down because apparently it was it was an old Victorian hospital, and um, they knocked it down and said it was no good. So they then got a private company in to build a brand new one, which um, they now pay rent for. <laughs> so they don't even own the hospital the NHS don't own the hospital they rent it and it costs them I believe I may be wrong but I think it was something like a hundred thousand a day or something ridiculous maybe ten thousand a day ten thousand pounds a day rent well yeah whatever but can't you imagine where that ten thousand could go but whatever, you know, it's um, 
it's just been eroded away isn't it everything all the public sector stuff's been taken away um, the schools are being privatized the, um, the police police and ambulance and everything else has all been underfunded um, they've already sold the post office um, sick, it? and they got the gall to ask you for more money it's just not right is it <laughs> They're all right. Blow you, Jack. We're okay. Yeah. It's half past four, I think. No. It's five o'clock. And the music's still playing. <laughs> oh. The music is still playing. He's still on. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's been going for nearly 12 hours now. Um, I'll get a bit wibbly if I don't have an... Yeah, it's still playing. <laughs> I'll get a bit wibbly if I don't have anything to eat. So um, I'm going to have a quick porridge. And then uh, we'll go and investigate because it's over there somewhere. So let's go. I think I just passed some revelers. <laughs> they um, they looked rather tired. They've dropped the volume. It's still um. They've dropped the volume. I could still hear people just now. Um, <clears throat> I don't actually know if it's up here, to be honest. I don't know if it's on the Mendips or not. But um, I saw a few cars yesterday when I was driving up here. And um, late last night, um, 10, 11 o'clock, I, um, I heard a van pull in next to the pull-in where I was. And I heard the bloke, I heard a chap get out, he said, oh, i just got to have a wee, he said. And um, I think it's around here somewhere, they said. I heard him say that, he said, oh, I'm pretty sure it's around here, so it's not far from here, he said. And then um, they got back in the van and drove off. So, um, it's a good adventure, isn't it? So let's go and have a look over here. Let's keep walking, see what we can see. The organiser. <laughs> He's just driven down in the van with a big smile on his face. I said, "All right, mate." <laughs> I think that's him. He's down here. Pretty damn sure was doing um <laughs> doing the music. I'm pretty sure that was the music. Just driven. See the white van over there. There's another Rebels car there. Look. Probably, maybe. I don't think they're there anymore. I think they're gone. I reckon that's it. I don't know. It's near now. I think they've gone. I reckon all the music was from that man. See his face. He sort of, he had a massive smile on his face when he came out. <laughs> Just to say, did you enjoy that type thing? Do you know what I mean? Oh no, they're still there. Oh whoa! There's a massive party. There's tents, there's caravans. Can you see that over there? Look, it's a proper rave. Oh, oh we don't need to go down there now. So it was in the field down here. Can you guys see that? See all the campers and see it all down there, look. There it is over there, look. See it? <laughs> Hey, where look? Ah! I think a lot of people might have left. I don't know if they're camping. Ah! I thought it might have been in the raceway. But, um, it's actually in the field. It's in the farmer's field over there, look. There's a f quite a few campers over there. I get the feeling a lot of people have left and gone home. It doesn't look very busy over there now. Ah, oh, wicked. Oh, 
I would have gone if I'd have known. <laughs> I bet it's expensive. Yeah, that's why I stealthed up here because I haven't got any money at the moment, so. Ah. Yeah, there's a few people left over there. Oh, well, there we go then. So that's where the music was coming from. <laughs> oh, smart. Um, I'll do a Google and see if I can find out what it was, but... um. It's obviously an organised event then, because um, you've got pitched up tents and everything. So there we go. That's what we were looking at. Hear the music, guys? We've started again. Yay! I wish I'd have known I'd have come.